about to go to Trader Joe's because it has been a very long time since I've gotten groceries. So I need to restock my fridge with some greens. Um, and there are some things that have just been out of stock there. So I am going to pick that up and I do also to do some recycling. And if you call me in the phone rings, I'd say I think you doubt me by mistake. Please don't mind all of this. Um, this is my OOTD. Kind of proud of it. I know it's like something really simple, but I like it. Outside for the first time in a while, um, but have some errands to run. Uh, some places I wanted to stop by. So, I don't know, something, something's happening and we're not entirely sure what's going on, but. We're gonna head over to a sample sale and I'm super excited! Cause that's what it's for I foretold the future be a fucking eyesore Forefathers bothered but forgetful that they used to be formed Couldn't afford all of them taxes Went and made a declaration form Became the monsters that this war would be forbidden Forgetting that men were free I guess they still bullshit nah. Forty days in deserts, twelve years in the forest Jayasita, Ram, Hanuman, we all sing the chorus Forging for poems for my birthright Forthright, forthcoming album is fourth play and foresight Four letter words for her on the first day One Fortnight later and she hit me up to fornicate okay. Formulate the method from the train and use the forks For two of this occasion resonate like tuna forks But fortune's valley upon further forensics I couldn't fuck with her cause her ego was tremendous I don't wanna sleep anymore I don't wanna dream anymore I can cry, I can breathe, I can bleed Just like, just like a machine Really, really, these robots are so silly Unforgivable forever and I'm so filthy Couldn't help it, LA made me like the farm I was raised by machines, I just adopted the decor This might be my new favorite spot to film stuff Although it does look a little crazy um, This is this is kind of my shelf display area that I have Wow, it looks a, it looks a little chaotic Maybe I'll have to reduce a little. Don't mind this. Um, this ponytail palm isn't always up here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the things that I picked up the other day while I was out. So there was a sample sale that I visited called The Break. Um, I believe they're like a vintage store. They do have a lot of vintage um, designer and just like really cool 
clothes, but they also have cool furniture and like decor. Unfortunately, when I got there, a lot of it had already been sold. So the one thing that I saw that I wanted, and luckily they had one, was this cute little, I guess like, probably like a dessert cup bowl. Um, I really like how chunky this is, but also how short this is. Um, and it also has like a little lip on the bottom, which feels just like really well designed. Um, I think it'll be really cute with like yogurt, even though I'm not a big yogurt eater. Or um, maybe like a parfait, a tiramisu could be good. Um, or if I really wanted to use it as a cup, I could definitely drink out of it. But this is one thing that I was super excited to pick up. They had towels that I have been looking to purchase for a while. And so I was not going to miss this opportunity. Um, and it is the Baina towels, um, but they're known for their checkered towels. I already have two of their hand towels. Um, I got them on Essence, like, gosh, it's been, it's been a bit that I've got it, but I have it in this black and brown, um, and also this really cute gray and pale yellow. And I, I love these. I love how neutral they are. I've been wanting to get larger towels with this same print because I just think it's so cute and also their quality is just really really great. Essence sometimes carries these on during their sale and it was cheaper than that so I was like um absolutely I'm going to purchase and at first I was only going to get the green one but the orange one was also super cute and kind of seeing it now I'm like really happy that I did um and yeah I mean these, these were a super great win. And the last thing that I picked up is this really cool um, book magazine. Um, you guys know I love a good coffee table book and I especially love a unique one. The person at the front um, said that this is their first issue. He did try to order this multiple times and has had a really hard time getting it because it seems to be out of stock and it gets out of stock in their store so I'm really happy that I got to score the last one. I love this purple coil um, binding on the side and it's just unique. Like it has like little elements like that. Um, just like a lot of cool pages. Um, and I just cannot wait to display it. Uh, I, I, I love a good unique coffee table book. So this was a really great find. I am going to have to find a really special place to put that. I am still in the process of figuring out where I'm gonna put certain things. Um, I've kind of done my first stab right now and they're definitely parts of the apartment that I really like and parts that I don't. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that goes. Um, I, I do like this. I mean, I, I love my little babies here. Uh, if you turn a little bit that way, I think it gets blocked, but the Vitsu shelf is on the other side of this column, um, which is great. It displays a lot of my books. Um, and then I think I'm going to get a cabinet here just because I really need closed cabinet space um, and then I'll be able to maybe display some stuff on top of it but yeah this hallway has kind of just been my museum while we're at it I thought I guess I can show you guys the updates of what happened to the spray painted furniture so this is actually how it ended up turning out I love the color of this one. Um, that mint color is so pretty. It's exactly what I was looking for. Just like a very off white green mint color. Um, and I really like the way everything is here and I'm gonna just keep it that way. Um, I love the shape of this purple one. The color is a little bit more saturated than I would have liked. Um, I really wanted something that was kind of the same idea where it was just like very more like off white purple and I think I would love it if it was a little bit 
pinker, so more of like a lilac. I have paper towels on the bottom there just because Henry likes to sit there sometimes. Um, but yeah, I don't know where I'm going to put it. Uh, still trying to find a space for that. So right now it's just next to it, which I, I don't hate them together. Um, but all in all, I want to say that it was a success. It was a huge learning, but at the end of the day, I really do love the way that this one came out and I was more worried about this one. And this one, I couldn't find a better color match of what I wanted, but for what it is, I'm happy with it. And I love the shape of this small one and that's the main reason why I got it. Another favorite spot of mine in the apartment is this area, I'm calling this my a drink station. I have the beautiful arc carbonator on the left and then also just some orange wine, a, a cute little drink that I took the top off and I'm putting some straws. Um, I also have some beautiful glasses that my friend gave me for my birthday, my ginormous fork that I love. Um, as well as actually like a little um, tumbler that I also got gifted that I'm also in love with. And then also my little scale that I use to measure uh, my coffee and also Henry's food. Um, but yeah, and you guys know I love my poster here. It has a lot of meaning to me. In the coming weeks, I'm hoping to have things a little bit more squared away, kind of really figure out where things are gonna go. There are still a lot of things that are moving around in the apartment, so that has kind of been the main reason why I haven't been able to like fully settle in and go into like full on decoration mode. I think I'm also realizing a lot about the space. Um, I did not anticipate for the space to be as small as it actually is. Um, in a lot of ways, my old apartment, it was just very spacious, but with this apartment, it is what it is. <laughs> um, we're gonna, we're gonna try to make the most of it. I would love to find more unique pieces, um, more colorful pieces. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I am really trying to make way more of an effort to add more color in the apartment. So I guess we'll see if that ends up happening or if I kind of just leave things the way they are and have everything pretty pretty simple and white but also chaotic in in that way but 